Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In today's video I'm going to show you how to basically create a firing state, uh, basically like a, an aiming state, uh, but by blending uh, the upper body of an aiming animation together with like the lower body, basically just like a, 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 an easy way to get all your animation syncing without having to go crazy and creating unique blend spaces for every every different series of movements. You just kind of want to keep it simple, right? So that's kind of what we're going to do here today. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually going to be really easy too. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly the blueprint of my character. Uh, this is a little bit outside of the tutorial, but uh, just to show you, uh, what I'm all I'm going to do here is set a variable in this case called gun uh, to indicate whether or not I am in a uh, aiming state or in a running state. And you could do this with any number of different types of guns, right? You just uh, hit your variable plasma rifle in this case, uh, or it could be like handgun or whatever. And then in our animation graph over here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, setting up a new uh, animation state which is for plasma rifle or which is for handgun or minigun or whatever the different holding state is but we're going to keep our legs the same right we're going to use our our movements uh from our from our like our regular wait why is he oh i think there we go <laughs> we're going to use our movement from our regular uh, idle like non-aiming state and we're going to use that as the the legs so that's all nice and consistent and easy uh, but we're going to change the upper body and arm position to kind of match what gun goes along with it i hope i'm explaining that fine fine enough um so in my animation graph i have my idle run and then i have my plasma rifle now in my plasma rifle again a little bit outside of the scope of this tutorial but all i'm going to do is in my uh, animation event graph my uh, animation blueprint event graph is i'm going to uh, check which gun is equipped uh, just by casting to my character and then by getting the gun variable and then by setting the gun variable in my animation blueprint so i know that something is equipped um, from there what i will do next is i will go into the animation graph and i will where is it animation graph uh into my movement state um my locomotion uh state and uh, here of course you probably have something like this with uh, idle jump air run etc and you're probably trying to figure out how to add an aiming state or a different weapon holding state uh, that's kind of the point of this video again hope i explained that correctly in the title but um, all i've done here is like can enter transition if gun variable is plasma rifle right and if gun variable is not plasma rifle we exit that uh, 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 plasma rifle state so again, that's kind of not really the point of this tutorial. The point of this tutorial is just to show you how to do the, 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 the blending of the upper body with the lower body animation. So in order to do that, what I've done is I've grabbed my movement blend space. Now that is the same blend space that I have over here for my regular idle, just like my movement blend space, what I showed you a minute ago of my character just running around without any gun being held, nothing like that. So I'll just show you that one more time so you're clear. This is my movement blend space. No gun is being held or anything like that. Um, so when we're going into our plasma rifle blend space, I'm going to use that movement blend space with the current direction, current speed, all that's the same. And what I'm going to do is put a layered blend per bone, right? So you just go layered blend per bone. You grab that node. And uh, the other part is what you want to grab is the uh, animation or pose of your uh, of your aiming animation. So in this case, that's my aiming animation, just like that. It's just a, it's got a little tiny bit of movement. Uh, if you have too much movement, you might find it's a little bit too jittery to actually be like a nice steady aiming point. But uh, mine's got a little movement, which is nice, which is just subtle, doesn't interfere with uh, actually interacting, um, like actually shooting or whatever. So all I've done here is I've, I've put my animation blend space, my movement blend space into the base pose, and then I put my uh, shooting state into my shooting animation to, into the second pose, and I've set my blend space to one. <clears throat> now the other thing that you need to do here is you need to go and you need to set, actually let me just delete this really quick so you can see. 
uh, what this is all about. Um, I'm going to quickly delete that. So in your layer setup, uh, on your layered blend per bone, you're going to want to go ahead and expand those until you see the branch filters and just go ahead and uh, add a new one. Now this is basically the the starting bone by which the blend uh, blends. So if for example I want to blend from like the spine 0 2 on up, uh, and let me show you guys really quickly what I mean here so you have a quick reference. So a spine 02 right here and uh, everything, basically everything up from spine 02 including the arms and all that sort of stuff. It could be like spine 01 um, or it might just be that you want to mm, affect or that the hand and the finger bones, right? So in that case you would start with hand R. But in this case it's a whole upper body uh, blend. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the, I'm um, not grab, I'm just going to go ahead and type in, where is it now? I'm going to go ahead and type in, oh there we go, details. I'm going to type in spine, I think I like spine 02. You might do spine 01 but I think I like spine 02 in this case. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and just compile and save that. And now what you'll notice, and actually you know what I should do? I should uh, quickly show you, actually you know what, that's fine. You, you guys will get the idea. So basically now when I enter my uh, a, uh, my aiming state, you can see that it has now blended. Uh, it's kept the movement of the lower body, but it's blended that with the uh, animation of the upper body, which is basically aiming. But what you'll notice uh, is that the upper body animation is kind of moving around, and especially as we start running, there's like some craziness going on. That's not going to be very good if you're trying to do like an FPS uh, gun position. So the fix for that is actually really easy. All you need to do is click on your layered blend per bone and uh, mesh space rotation blend. Click that to true and now when we jump back into the game you'll notice when I go into my movement my gun basically just plays the animation movement. I can turn left, right and everything like that. My legs play all the animation. Everything from spino 2 and lower plays all the animation, right? but my upper body uh, basically only plays the aiming animation and it's unaffected by the by the uh, jitter and rotation of the lower body animation which for what I'm doing here is good I want the gun to be basically still for the player to uh, have a uh, and again my positioning is off like my my aiming position is off that's not really a part of this tutorial you, you know you just have to align your animation so it works with your gun and it's sitting at the point you know that your hand connects with it and stuff like that that's not really what we're talking about here today the only thing we're really talking about here today is how to basically uh, get that upper body animation to uh, play the aiming while the lower body still does its normal movement state. Uh, the part that I struggled with was yeah just getting that upper body to be still but it's actually so easy all you do is tick that little mesh space rotation blend and then it is basically just plays the upper body animation and everything is perfectly fine. Tickety boo doo boo. By the way uh, this blend weight uh, should be set to one probably if, for example, I set that to 0.5, it would uh, blend the two states of being like idle, standing still in my normal walking without aiming mode uh, with the um, aiming animation about 50% of each, right? So you can see that arm's like halfway up or whatever. One basically means that it's entirely using the animation uh, that you got down here uh, and overriding the upper body animation entirely. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.